Say your goodbyes to FIFA 23 because we now have our first look at EA Sports FC 24 with these two new drillers here that show many new things coming to the game as well as a few things that nobody is talking about. Stick around when I show you the real reason why I think EA FC has the potential to kill FIFA forever. Now, if you've been living under a rock for the last six months, you might be thinking, what is EAFC? Where's FIFA 24 gone? Why does Ronaldinho look like that guy from GTA and the PS2? Long story short, FIFA said, you can't use our name now, to which EA replied, it's great, we'll make our own. And here we are with EAFC. You might also be thinking, will it be different to FIFA? And the answer to that is no. Mostly. EA do have licenses for most leagues and teams across the world, but if the only things missing will be the World Cup mode, yeah, the World Cup mode. Yeah, that's it. I know, not very much. It'll still have things like Ultimate Team, Career Mode, Pro Clubs, and pretty much every other game mode from FIFA. So now we all know what EAFC is, how is it going to be better than FIFA? After looking at everything EA have announced so far, I have narrowed it down to a few features that everyone has dreamed about for years, as well as a few massive changes coming to the game. But I think before we start, we gotta talk about these faces. EA, what have you done? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the first thing you probably saw when looking at the trailer are the brand new cutscenes. Now, the only thing we're most likely to see in the game from the trailer is the changing room cutscenes. These could be used during halftime for team talks or tactical analysis or something like that. Now, that was the only thing we saw on the trailer regarding cutscenes, but I've been digging and I have found some pretty reliable sources that say EA are giving us more trophy celebrations with a bus parade after winning a trophy. Another and my most favourite cutscene will be revealed later in this video, so stay tuned because it is a game changer. Now the next thing EA spent most of their time showing us, and that is women's football. This looks to be the biggest thing coming to EAFC, with new women's divisions coming to the game like all of these, including the Women's Champions League, as well as rumours of both men and women players on Ultimate Team. Now. I know you probably couldn't care less, so if you don't want to know about women's football, just skip to this point in the video here. But if you do, then buckle up, because as well as women in Ultimate Team, it looks like we'd be getting a women's career mode. Don't worry, not both men and women like Ultimate Team, but instead two different modes that you can choose from. Judging by the women's leagues EA has licenses for, there is a very big chance that women's football will be a very big part of EASE. Anyway, on to the more exciting stuff. FIFA Career Mode! The game I have based 99% of this channel about. Wait a minute, stop the music, stop the music. Zoom in there, zoom in there. Come on bro, you know what to do. There we go, that's better. You should do by the way. Anyway, as I was saying, FIFA Career Mode! Although there wasn't much actually in the trailer about FIFA Career Mode, I've been digging and I have found some leaked footage and photos showing that we might finally have something to look forward to. Like how about stepping into the boots of your own player with the brand new first person camera and experience yourself how it looks to dribble past legends of the game and score an absolute belter. Or how about the new players agents? Pick where you want to go and the player agent offers advice and recommendations on how to take your next step in your player career. Think of it as your own butler. You mean Alfred Duck? Butler with two T's. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, celebrate with a team on the top of the bus parading around your city, or even if you manage to make your way up the football ladder, walk up the steps to collect a Ballon d'Or with new cutscenes like these and more coming to the game. But what if I play as a manager? Don't worry, you've not been forgotten. EA's got you covered. You can now step into the technical area to see the game through the manager's eyes with the brand new touchline camera. I'll be honest, I don't really know why this feature is necessary. You know, just standing at the touchline waving your arms about, but who knows? It might actually turn out to be useful. Don't you also just hate it when you don't want to play, so instead you have to watch this game of Connect 4 for 10 minutes. I'm gonna... I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear! Well, to tackle this problem, it looks like we will finally be getting a spectator's mode, so you can now watch an actual game of football instead of, well, this. Another big managerial feature is Total Management System. Yeah, that's right, the same thing that was last seen in FIFA 11 is back, and this gives you the opportunity to let out your inner Jose Mourinho and bring your footballing philosophy to life. I am Jose Mourinho. By creating new unique tactics and looking at in-depth data to help you win games. This, by the way, reminds me of a certain other game that EA have totally not copied at all. <clears throat> anyway, it has also been confirmed that there will be more advanced coaching staff. You can apparently pick up a 5-star coach when pre-ordering EAFC Ultimate Edition. These could be things like assistant coaches, fitness coaches, who knows? Only time will tell. But of course, EA slipped up. 
The trailer also shows things like Baron Leverkusen's kit two days before it was announced, or how they made Insigne and Ben Teke nearly the same height, when in reality there is an 11 inch difference between the two. Well done EA. Now this leads us to the big question, does EAFC have the potential to kill FIFA? With most FIFA games having problem after problem, can EAFC fix those problems and knock FIFA off the top spot and take the crown of football gaming? Well to figure that out we have to look at a lot of different things. We've already looked at the new features and mechanics coming to the game, but what else could be the reason for EAFC to wipe FIFA off the market? Well what about price? All right. FIFA 23 Ultimate Edition had a starting price of about £90 here in the UK, and EAFC Ultimate Edition has a starting price of £100. Yeah, you heard me correctly, £100. So price is definitely not the reason. What about graphics? Nah, not really. Yeah, the cutscenes have improved, but the gameplay would probably be very similar to FIFA 23. In my opinion, the biggest reason will come down to the hype. It's a new game. It's not like going from FIFA 22 to 23, to which people kind of think, meh. People will get excited and the hype will get bigger and bigger. Even though it has 99% of the things FIFA has, the game will come out and sales will start pouring in. And boom. EA1, FIFA nil. Let me know what you think about EAFC in the comments below. But wait, before you go, you should watch this next.